hot out there. In fact, for the first time this season, we've hit 90 now. Yeah, uh, John, we can use the S's. Steamy, <laughs> sizzling, fill in the blanks, right? Yeah. Sultry, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, you're waiting for me. I got nothing. <laughs> Your turn, Jen. Sweltering. Yeah, sweltering. There you Sweaty. go. Sweaty. No. Can we phone a friend? Sweaty. <laughs> With a pool? Yeah, let's phone a friend. Get another one out there. Boy, this is the trend now over the next several days. It's going to be sort of a shock to the system if you're sort of sensitive to the heat because we'll be tacking on some humidity with this as well. Current winds are out of the south. They're slightly south southeasterly, 23 miles per hour at Epley Airfield and also out at Lincoln Airport. And uh, those winds are gusty in some places as well. Tacoma, 33 mile per hour gust, Lincoln at 31 and close to 30 out at Epley as well. Well, here's a look at the temperatures and uh, many locations in the lower 90s with Wayne being the warmest at 94. Most locations out in western Iowa have yet to reach that uh, 90 degree mark, but they're only a couple of degrees away. Here's a look at future cast for the rest of the evening will maintain clear skies 77 degrees the 10 o'clock temperature and it's going to stay warm all night long morning readings will be in the lower 70s as we climb into the mid 80s by lunchtime and then continue our way through the 90s heading to about 93 94 degrees by the afternoon as we take a look at our current conditions out there presently we have 90 degrees in the metro with the south southeast wind at 23 miles per hour and Radar satellite showing clear skies for us. There are a few areas like uh, just to the northeast of us where there's a few scattered thunderstorms out there and also from Rapid City down into the panhandle of Nebraska. They're seeing a little activity out there as well. But for us, uh, outside of the few clouds to the north of us, all is quiet here in the metro. There is that warm front that has made its way into eastern sections of Nebraska that will come all the way through here and uh, we're in for the heat now over the next several days as we take a look at a map that we've been showing you repeatedly over the next couple of days, but it's still holding true. Heat will be building in, staying here through the weekend. We'll see temperatures in the 90s, 10 to 15 degrees above normal, and we'll also be adding humidity to that. And interesting, that humidity goes all the way up into the southern sections of Canada, as a matter of fact. Dew points will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s, so it's going to feel hot and sticky. So watch for any heat stress if you have to do some outdoor activities. Here is a look at what it will feel like over the next few days. It'll be into the 90s, certainly on Thursday, but by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's going to feel like 100 or more. And then that's going to trail off beginning part of next week. That's when we'll start to see some thunderstorm activity. Lows tonight, near 70 degrees, mostly clear skies. Sunshine tomorrow, 93 for the high, as uh, wind speeds will be out of a south-southwesterly direction and pick up a little bit, 15 to 25 miles an hour. 94 on Friday, 95 on Saturday, and Sunday as well. Pretty warm. We'll be seeing temperatures remaining in the mid 90s before we start to see that transition and Mother Nature trying to bring us back into some sort of equilibrium with in the form of thunderstorms on Monday. There's a lesser chance on Tuesday, but still a chance. And then we ramp it back up on Wednesday as well. For that reason, you should uh, be downloading Storm Shield. With that type of heat and humidity, some of those storms could be on the severe side, and you'll want to know what's going on upstream from you. KMTV.com slash Storm Shield. Get that on your phone.